Hi there, this is Melissa Missler, and we are here with Hannah, who is the current Miss Cornish Christmas, but even more importantly, the Miss Fit for all of Nevada County. Um, you're going to be crowning our next queen soon. Welcome, mm -hmm. Hannah. Thank you for having me, Melissa. Yes. Um, now, Hannah is also the owner of CrossFit Pickaxe. Tell mm -hmm. us about your gym. It is amazing, it is a huge space, and what I love about CrossFit is that it is based on functional fitness movements and constantly varied movements. So we have all these elements that happen in our day and it's to how to engage those elements at varying weights, and yes, we do have all the barbells and everything, but we like to focus on mobility and the functional side of things in my box. Okay. Now with that, is there an age requirement, minimum, mm -hmm. maximum? Nope, I have a kids class that happens two days a week, a teens class that happens three days a week, and I have a seniors and masters class that happens where my oldest client is 92, which is pretty impressive. And um, so yeah, their age ranges are all the way from the six to 92 right now. In, six in to gym. 92, yep. guys and gals. Yep, guys and gals. And I've got, you know, everybody's all there. I've got my younger athletes who are have goals and they're pushing for them and their nutrition's getting on point and it's pretty exciting. And then I've got my older athletes who they just wanna stay moving and independent as long as possible. And my kids who just have a whole lot of energy. So we just keep them all moving. And where are you located? We are located at 1415 Whispering Pines Lane um, in Suite 130. Okay. And how do people find you? They can find me on my website at um, CrossFitPickaxe.com. And you can also call me, um, go to our website. You can, my phone number is on there very prominently. We're on Facebook, CrossFit Pickaxe. Check us out. Give us a thumbs up. Like us. We're always posting good exercise ideas. And our groups are, we're highly integrated. Jim, we have a couple really exciting programs firing off here pretty soon, so I'm excited about that. Yeah. Now, where you and I know each other from is your nutrition background, which has just always impressed me. You know that. I'm a fan of yours. You. Would you tell those watching just a little bit about what you do with nutrition? So with nutrition, I believe in working with your body and finding exactly what it is that causes your body to not function at its peak performance levels or whatever your lifestyle might be. So um, I believe in detoxing, eliminating any possible allergens that you might possibly have, and then kind of getting that good baseline, and then slowly beginning to add things in to really understand what your body does and does not respond to. A lot of times we have so much going on that we really have no idea if it's a gluten or a dairy, or you know maybe we have a strawberry allergy we didn't know about. There's all these variables. We try to cut all that out so that you can really find out exactly what it is that your body needs and requires. All right. Well, you did mention detox and all of that, so um, we're going to talk about detox in yes. just a second. But you have also been a TLS coach for two different 12-week accountability yes. groups. What was the highlight of that experience for you? You know, the ladies, the group itself is honestly, it's so much fun. I miss being able to be a part of that because the group was great. The encouragement they get is great. It just kind of was like a little kind of pick me up to your to your week and hear everyone's struggles and their victories and maybe someone you can relate to. So that was my highlight for me. And then seeing the success, I mean, you look completely incredible. I mean, how far you've come, you look amazing. And, um, and everyone else that has joined, I'm just so incredibly proud of seeing how everyone has progressed and taking my little tidbits of, of knowledge and just made them their own and, and grown from there. It's pretty, pretty awesome. Well, the hardest part of the 12 weeks is definitely detox. Mm -hmm. And so trying to get people more prepared for what detox is and why we're doing it. I've got a couple questions yes. for you on that. Yes. Um, what would you say are the highlights of the detox program? The highlights of the detox program are honestly allowing your body to just completely reset. You know, we have so many free radicals and things that just come into our lives, whether it's energy or food or, you know, maybe it was an ice cream sundae we had, you know, for me it happens to be a package of Oreos every now and then, you know, we have these things that come in and they bog our system down and they make us not feel right and they can make your brain fade, they can um, give you brain fog, they can make you more tired, they can flare up depression, anxiety, bipolar disorders, you know, arthritis, I mean, you have too much sugar, you are bound to get arthritis because it's literally rusting your joints. So. Um, and the highlights of that is, I mean, you just want to let your body have that chance to go back down to complete baseline and reset itself. You just need to give your digestive tract and your body a break so it can clean itself out and then be able to help you start healing whatever those ailments might be. So we're looking at a detox that's colon, liver, blood, blood, just mm -hmm. cleaning everything. Yeah. Okay. Detox is a complete detox. All right. Amazing. 
Now something that you put together for us were four options and we'll have this up on our Facebook page. Yes. Now you broke this down into best case scenario mm -hmm. and then price budgeting with oh, yes. one of the options being a special that Market America was having. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us what this is all about? Yes, absolutely. Okay, so I am a single mom of three and I own a business. So I'm very, very aware of budget. So I'm just gonna put that all out there. So ideally <laughs> is this option one. This is if money is no object and you wanna go ahead and rock out this option one, more power to you. I'm excited to see how your results are because that is your optimum um, idea, but there's definitely other ways around that and I can talk to you guys about that when you need to. But we've got our option one for that two weeks detox because you have your first week as a complete detox your second week is the neutralization period, and all the supplements are chosen out and spaced out to give you the best results possible depending on what your budget might be. So that first one you've got, you know, your shakes, your journals, your all of your enzymes, your complete bottles of all the enzymes, um, your detox kit, and the aloe, which is excellent as far as helping soothe your digestive system, but still um, hydrating it and helping the elimination process. And you've got your option two, which I believe is the one that TLS offers on their website, and that's where your journal, your shake, your B-complex, your OPC, um, those are the full bottles, plus your seven-day detox kit. That one is fantastic. It gives you kind of most of the basics that you need. And then from there, I might have it broken down to the ones that I specifically would highly recommend as... Bare as minimums, Bare right? minimums, but if you want to do it and you really want to invest in your body and your health, which is honestly what you're doing, you need to invest in yourself because we give ourselves out all over the place. You need to get back to yourself every now and then would be one of these option threes or fours. Okay. Right. Well, this really helped me to just try and understand some different options with price point. But because, you know, as your student the last two uh -huh. times, thank you, uh -huh. um, some of the things that stood out is um, on here it says you need the aloe, and I do understand the natural aloe because there's several different flavors, but we really want to clean out instead of having sugar. Mm -hmm. But what's the difference or reason why you need both the aloe and the enzymes? What are the differences in those products? So the differences in those products is that the, the aloe, it hydrates the colon and it helps aid in the elimination, but the digestive enzymes um, are there to replenish whatever gets eliminated from your colon during the detox process. So a detox is exactly what it sounds like. You're pulling and sloughing all of this crud that's been hanging out and making you feel yucky out of your system. So the digestive enzymes help to maintain that balance in your digestive tract so that when you go off of detox, you don't suddenly find yourself getting constipated or headaches or all these things that can happen <laughs> when we start to slowly add in these foods that we've eliminated over two weeks or a week. Okay. And then when we first started doing detox that very first time, mm -hmm. we were trying to eliminate all sugars, including fruit. Mm -hmm. And as you started looking at the two-week process, you mm -hmm. and um, the uh, nurse practitioner, nurse practitioner yeah. came up with three apples a day. Mm -hmm. You guys figured that out. Yeah. What, why? So the reason being for that is that um, our bodies are used to having a certain levels of sugars in them to be able to have energy. Um, it's a complex carbohydrate at that point, and so your and it's got apples have fantastic fiber in them as well. We have natural sweet tooth. So the thing about the apples is that one, it can ward off your sweet tooth. Um, two, it, it hydrates you because there's so much water in there. It's a great source of fiber. And then um, third is that you, if you're going on this, chances are that maybe you have some elevated sugar levels somewhere. You might have hormone imbalances, things like that. So by maintaining that apple in your diet at least three times a day, it will help to make sure that you don't end up with maybe too extreme of a side effect for detoxing. So it'll help your sugars maintain balance. Uh, maybe ward off any headaches you might have. <laughs> it might help you go for the apple over the pint of ice cream. I mean, it, there's, a, there's a couple of different reasons, but those are kind of the basics ones, but it really is just kind of a refresher and it's something crunchy and it's not a piece of broccoli or a grain bean. <laughs> right, and yeah. um, it kind of breaks it up, but it helps maintain your sugar, your sugar levels. Okay. Now something else that you did for us is we're supposed to have five low glycemic meals a day yes. and the same with TLS is Protein and fiber at every meal makes losing weight no big deal. Yeah. Well, we didn't know what to do five times a day. So yeah. you also um, put that out for we us. We have a meal plan. So this is a tool that we'll be able to hand out at class that talks about yes. when we're taking the aloe, when we're having the mm -hmm. apples, when we're doing the shakes. Yeah. Now there's three shakes. Yes. Um, why are we doing shakes? Very glad about. The, um, the third shake I'm really excited about because that is the newest one. Um, the first two shakes are way Base, which means that they're a dairy-based shake. So if you have any kind of dairy um, allergies, 
lactose intolerances, which that's a dairy allergy, then you wouldn't be able to have one of those, like me, I can't have that. So you want to do the shakes because when you are detoxing, you want your body to be able to digest as little as possible. So by giving it liquid supplementation through, um, if you've got like a blender, making an actual whole food shake or doing a meal replacement shake like they have um, with the TLS shakes, it just gives your body that chance to really recuperate and reset and focus more on your cell regeneration versus your digestion. Okay. All right. Well, I love all the shakes um, in chocolate or vanilla. So that has been an easy one for me yeah. since I'm not a cook like you. Yeah. So there are ways to work around yeah. it. Um, but we are closing up. Was there anything else you wanted to share? With the shakes, one thing I did want to notice, be, note because um, there are a lot of, so if you look at this meal plan, there's a lot of vegetables on here. I have recommend <laughs> the shakes as well because you can take a vanilla shake and you can add in that apple and then you can add in like an entire serving of your spinach or some celery or something and it honestly it masks it like you don't even taste it i mean it might turn green but you just close your eyes and drink it i mean if it's that much of a problem but honestly <laughs> that's another reason why the shakes are really great because you can start adding things in you can beef them up with your vegetables and it's a great way to kind of add in those extra veggies without having to sit there and like feel like a cow and just chew and chew and it also gives options on here that are not just straight up salads. I am not a salad fan. I would rather just sit there and eat veggies and have my protein and this and that. So there is that. And there are going to be lower levels of protein in here. And they want you to not exercise as much during your detox because your body is resting. This for me was the most challenging part because I have a gym. I have to exercise. So it wants you to have that complete reset, lower your protein levels, honestly, just to give your body that complete break to reset and you will feel a difference. You will drop pounds, stay hydrated. A gallon of water a day is my only other thing to say. And that honestly is it and good luck.